Hi, Roy Oppenheim again. This is part two of my uh, five-year statute of limitations issue that has come to the, the, the focus of, of really the entire country as the New York Times ran a front-page story this past week about uh, the, the idea that some people may end up uh, with a free house because the banks have been unable to bring their foreclosures within the five-year statute of limitations period. So the Florida Supreme Court has a number of cases in front of them right now trying to figure out what to do with this five-year uh, period. There have been bankruptcy courts uh, in New Jersey and, 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 and in also in Connecticut, other courts, that have determined that five years means five years. In Florida, uh, what, what it looks like is that the banks are trying to invoke what I would characterize as the Wall Street rules, as, as the Wall Street rules. What are Wall Street rules? Wall Street rules are where Wall Street makes the rules and then people follow the Wall Street rules because Wall Street rules. So what are, they, what are the banks trying to do? The banks are trying to say, well, we didn't really mean to accelerate when we sent that letter to you of acceleration. We didn't really mean when we said we were going to accelerate in that foreclosure complaint and that we're taking it all back and that we are now deaccelerating. Okay, the term deacceleration is a legal fiction. It does not legally exist in, in the lexicon of lawyers. It's a construct that is completely made up and is rubbish. Okay, so basically, if in fact this deacceleration concept was to be accepted by the courts, the courts would be undermining the integrity of the legislative process where the the legislature and, and the governors, when they sign their, their, their laws into action, uh, that a five-year statute of limitations is supposed to limit the amount of time that one has to sue under a contract. And so what the banks are trying to say is, well, this contract's really not just one contract, there are all these, each payment is a separate payment. That's all nonsense. Once there's an acceleration, there's an acceleration. Of course, uh, there, there are bankruptcy courts in New Jersey that have suggested, there, there, there are courts in Connecticut that have suggested, but there are also courts in Florida, some of the lower courts, the appellate courts, that don't see it that way. And they're buying this Wall Street rule. And the reason they're buying it is because the Bankers Association, the National Bankers Association, is now threatening Florida with they won't continue to make loans in the state of Florida if, in fact, the, the courts uh, don't rule in the way Wall Street wants things to be ruled. That's where it is. That's how it is right now. We'll see what the Florida Supreme Court does. If you have any questions about the five-year statute of limitations, particularly in the state of Florida, please call us. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches.